Welcome to Tesla Info and today, we're going to talk about new vehicle inspection. Before we start, don't forget to like the video, ring the bell, and subscribe. A thousand YouTubers have said the same. It really helps us content creators. When picking up a new Tesla, there are a range of things to be checked at delivery time. Some of these things can be done later, but we still recommend working through all aspects over the first 24 hours and some aspects before you drive away. Okay, now onto the car. We're using a used car, but this helps show up some of the faults you are looking for. It might sound unnecessary, but check the car specification is as you expect. The paint color, seat color, and wheel choice are all pretty obvious. The car model should be checked. The safest way to do this is from inside the car. While there, also check the mileage. Anything up to 50 miles is normal for a new car that is not a demo model. Also check the included packages are as you expect, including autopilot and options, like performance boost if you are expecting them. If you bought during a period of model change, you can also check items such as the MCU processor type, autopilot hardware version, whether cold weather pack is installed, tow bar, etc. If you are expecting a heated steering wheel or rear heated seats, then these can be checked via the climate control menu. While you may want to check they all work, these are warranty items and would be repaired on a new car if they have failed. Check the seats and steering wheel move. Also check you can adjust the side mirrors. While you're at it, set the car up for your own personal taste and save this as a driver profile. Check the charge flap opens and closes. Put the car into reverse to check the cameras. On new cars, you should see three images, the rear view and two rear facing side views. Turn on the radio or play some music. Check all the speakers work. Check wipers and washer jets operate. The washer fluid pipe has been known to not be attached. Before getting out of the car, turn on the headlights and indicators so you can check these from outside the car. Try each door and the door handles. Check the windows drop and raise correctly when doing so. Check for any obvious damage to the seats and interior trim, such as the door cards and dash. Check the back of the seats. Check the trunk and frunk open fine. Check the seals look complete, although note the trunk seal on the Model 3 now has a cutaway seal on one side due to the powered trunk. While looking in the trunk and frunk, check the expected accessories are there. These should include a mobile charger with at least a domestic socket attachment for slow charging. In most countries, there should also be a public charging cable. For Model 3 and Model Y with the towing package, check the towing kit is provided. Check the alloy wheels for any damage, primarily around the rim, but the wheels can also have damage on the spokes. Check the tires all match. This is another area where proving the fault existed at collection is hard to do once you leave. Check the paintwork for blemishes, including dents, stone chips, and swirl marks. This is particularly important as these can occur as soon as you drive away and you want to avoid a debate over whether they were already on the car. 
check the gaps between panels are even and symmetrical on both sides, you should expect an even gap. The panel should also lie flush with the adjoining panel and there is no pronounced step between panels. A flat edge, such as the side of a credit or business card, can help with this placed across the join. The same applies to the door handles. Check the lights work. Check for condensation in the lights, and while a small amount is normal, make sure anything that worries you is noted. If all looks good, then you are good to go. Enjoy your car and check out other content on what to do when you first get your car.